we are good. I think we're getting better at that transition on um, transitioning like right as the clock goes from zero. Maybe it's starting to look a little bit more professional. It only took 32 days. Um, welcome in everyone. This is day number 32 of the story stream. Today we are going to be working more on our vampire story and progressing it hopefully farther than we've progressed it yesterday. I mean, we progressed it far yesterday, but um, hopefully we're getting to the end so we can end the vampire story so it's not long and a novella and all that. Uh, let's see who's all up in here. Ari's in here. Welcome, Ari. Shiv's in here. Welcome, Shiv, Mello, and Anita. You guys are all in here. Uh, welcome, you guys. Hopefully your Saturday is going all right. Hopefully everything's going the way it needs to go. Um, yesterday with the story we finished of them talking to... Ooh, sorry, my Subway app just notified me. I don't know why it notified me of anything. Um, so yesterday we started on just a little bit of the dialogue that I put in for him talking with... Uh, um, for him talking with them, trying to get the elder's attention. So we're going to be um, going from that. And that it looks like Ari's written a decent amount. So we'll read through what Ari wrote. And then we will move on from there. Doom, 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 ba -doom, ba -doom. All right, let me get a drink of water before we start this process. Everyone's been good today, though. Everyone's mornings has gone well. I had my first coffee from McDonald's this morning. It wasn't so bad, actually. I personally enjoyed it. Ari says, I'm exhausted. You need to take a nap or go to bed for 24 hours. That'd probably be best there. So, the elders opened the door and rushed me in. I've never seen this room before. I've only heard of it. So, we're going to go ahead and keep this. Oh. Large, sturdy bookshelves made from sandalwood lined the walls. Old tomes filled the shelves, giving the library the smell of an old bookstore. My eyes couldn't pick up what to focus on. The large walnut desk in the middle of the crystal chandelier... Wait, what to focus on? Let me just... The large walnut desk in the middle of the crystal chandelier that stood out in the middle. The elder sure did love to show off their gender. Let's... They're gr I don't know why I said gender. They're grander. So we're going to keep this. Anita says, so far so good. Slow start to the day. Ari then said, I cannot. I can't LOL not until next month. Oh, you got a long while until next month. Because it's only the 6th. We are all here for you, Ari. So, now we got... What do you mean by the heirlooms have been stolen? They have been secured in that vault for years. No one even knows about them except for a select few. The tallest of elders questioned his eyes slightly. Um, his eyes slightly red. One moment. Let me text something real quick. Um, okay. So what do you mean by the heirlooms have been stolen? They have been secured in that vault for years. No one even knows about them except for a select few. The toss of the elders questioned his eyes slightly, red as if he was coming off of a blood, fet, blood feast. He had to have been Tristan, the oldest of our elders. He, is known, he was known for not caring about the lives he took and his need for blood. It is exactly as I have said. The heirlooms were gone. None of the security, none of the security alarms were triggered and nothing showed on the cameras orpheus is checking in on the camera and security measures but as i've seated but i've i cannot read today i'm gonna need another drink of water just one moment i've been trying to figure out like vocal exercises before i start this stream like how i can get used to talking um it is exactly as i've said the heirlooms are gone None of the security alarms were triggered, and nothing showed on the cameras. Orpheus, Orpheus is checking in on the camera and security measures, but as I've stated, they have been taken. The room grew silent. Not even the turning of a page was heard as the elders looked at each other. Looked at each other, then back to me. Do you not understand? Tristan looked at me with a sneer on his face. No non-vampires have ever stepped foot into the vault. Um, 
One moment, guys. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. All right, I am back. So, we have the room grew silent. Not even the turning of a page was heard as the elders looked at each other. Looked at each other, then back to me. Do you not understand? Tristan looked at me with a sneer on his face. No non vampires have ever stepped foot into our vault. It's not possible. The floor lined with silver inlays just so that we can make sure the wolves can enter and a human. The only thing they are good for is the cattle. They couldn't have taken them. So tell me, who took them? Or he says, yeah, I'm used to it. Though I'll sleep when husband gets home and get... Yeah, that, that's probably hard, him being gone every month. I could see that being difficult. I couldn't do it. I swallowed nervously, taking into consideration what they have said and what Orpheus had explained earlier. It could only have been Lord Aegon, Orpheus, or... I stuttered for a moment. Was I really willing to go there? I had to. They wanted the truth. Or one of you. I cringed as Tristan's eyes narrowed and his nostrils flared. You dare try to pin the blame on us? He bellowed close. He bellowed, closing the distance between us in a second. His hands wrapping around my neck, tightening. I didn't need the air to breathe. That didn't worry me. What worried me was that, the, that he could decapitate me within a second if he chose to. You asked who could have taken it, sir. I answered honestly. We would not have simply stolen them. We would have come and taken them, not caring who knew. So tell me, do you know why they were taken? No, I do not. I just know that they have the power to destroy us. The rings open the dagger's sheath. If the dagger cuts a human, it gives that human our powers without bloodthirst or sunlight allergy. What do you think would happen if our food source suddenly had the power to fight back against us? My eyes widened in surprise. I hadn't known that was even possible. He pushed me back into the shelves, causing a few ancient books to hit the floor. A cloud of dust floated around them. You will find those heirlooms. Your sanity and well your sanity and well being depends on it. Here, let me give you a taste of what you will be in for if you don't find them. His hands flourished in my face. I watched in a horror as darkness crowded my eyesight and my body went limp in his hand. My body jerked awake, scanning my surroundings frantically. I tried to move, but my body was chained to a cold, hard wall. Sweat began to beat against my forehead and my mouth watered. I was so hungry. How long have I been here? Let me go. I screamed repeatedly over and over till my voice became ragged and cracked. Thirsty, so thirsty, just a taste. And then Ari put need a lot more here. Sweet. So we got this part knocked out. And then we got this. All right. So let's see what you guys chatted with over here. Ari says, it's better than when he was in the army. We manage as best as we can. Well, that's, that's good. Melo said, since one elder could have taken it, one elder can be feeding so much on the other human blood that he had tamed invincibility and stole the thing. We could potentially do that. We could see what that looks like. So we're going to, we need to add more into here. All right. My body jerked awake, scanning my surroundings frantically. I tried to move my body, but was chained. Um, sweat began to beat against my forehead and my mouth watered. I was so hungry. How long have I been here? Let me go. I screamed repeatedly over and over till my voice became ragged and cracked. Thirsty, so thirsty, just a taste. <laughs> Ari says, they are all in it and everyone dies. The end. We could. We could do that. How many words are we at right now? 4,600? Holy cow. We could have them die. We could kill them all. We are known for killing every person. I feel like that's I feel like that's our spinoff now. It's just killing the people. 
I was so hungry. How long have I been there? Let me go. I screamed repeatedly and over and over until I, my voice became ragged and cracked. Thirsty, so thirsty. Just a taste. So where are we going from here? You will find those heirlooms. Your sanity and well-being depends on it. Here, let me give you a taste of what you will be in for. So when we go from here, we need to make sure that he... So he's going into the... He's going into the deep, dark place now. That's correct. Yeah. So where, what do we want to happen in there? Do we want to do a recollection of memories? Do we want him to see something in the future? Ari says, hey, we didn't kill everyone in the day the moon fell. You're right. We didn't kill everyone in the day the moon fell. It's a dream... He doesn't know it's a dream, though. All right, so how would we go about making it look like a dream? I was so hungry. How long have I been there? Let me go. I scream repeatedly over and over until my voice became ragged and cracked. So we need to have him in a dream. I'm going to reread this just real quick. Do, 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 be, do, boom, boom. The rings open the dagger sheath. The dagger cuts a human. It gives a human our power for the bloodthirst. And oh, that's nice. I don't even I don't even know why I even realized this the first time. So basically, if the human gets the dagger, it gives them the power, but they don't need the sunlight allergy or the bloodthirst so basically they're invincible they can get rid of them easily um i hadn't known that it was even possible he pushed me back into the shelves cloud here let me his hands flourished in my face i watched in words the darkness crowded my eyesight and my body went limp in his hand shiv says yes that can be a choice where you show the cruelty in the story and show that the vampire is taking control of the guy, but for the spin of it at the end, throw the twist that the vampire was not controlling him. He was just the one controlling the vampire. Yeah, we could do that as well. Or make it so real he thinks he could get so blood hungry he breaks free and devours everyone around him, even the vamps. Oh, my Lanta. Shit, you are going all down source sites. What am I trying to say there? You're going all down... All sorts of roads there. Oh, Ari said that last one. Or make it so real. He thinks he could. Yeah. He's going to have a choice where you can show the cruelty in the story and show the vampires taking control of the guy for the spin of it. At the end, throw on the twist. The vampire was not controlling him. He was the one who was controlling the vampire. So what do you mean by that? Like, he's doing stuff that he can't control, Shiv? Like, is he doing stuff in his dream that he thinks he's... So he's doing stuff in his dream that he thinks someone's controlling him to do? Or is he doing something in his dream that he's actually doing, but now he's upset that he's doing? Let me know what you were meaning for that. And then, let me check, see what you meant by that. He, he's doing what he wanted to do. What he wanted to do from this log time. Hmm. Yeah, we could try that. We could see what that could look like. So we need to get... My body jerked away, scanning my surroundings frantically. I tried to move my body, but was chained to a cold, hard wall. Sweat began to beat against my forehead, and my mouth watered. I was so hungry. How long had I been here? Let me go. I screamed repeatedly over and over till my voice became ragged and cracked. Thirsty, so thirsty. Just a taste. 
Hmm. Maybe I think this one's thrown me off just a little bit. Like trying to get the idea of where we're going from here. Screamed over and over till my voice became ragged and cracked. Thirsty, so thirsty, just a taste. Hmm. Let me... We're going to do something different here. We're going to do a mind map real quick. And this is just to help me in some sort of way. This is definitely... Um, oh, we need to look up free mind map because I don't want to pay for anything right now. We're going to try something different. Oh, let's sign up. So we'll name this Nico, and we'll do our email here. Blah, blah, blah. Nico writing, or we can do intubate writing. What do? There we go. Register. Whoa. Oh, we got a purchase of subscription. Never mind, guys. Shift says, but the beauty of the story right now is you have a, you have to show that he is not in control by the lines and by his actions. Some kind of psychopath. Yeah, we could do that. Do you guys know any free or mind mapping? So basically, mind mapping is just like orga organizational things. If you guys know anyone that are good, let me know. Because basically what I'm... Here we go. Central idea. Because I don't feel like I have my mind wrapped around this whole story right now. I'm going to be honest with everyone. Like, the story's good. What am I doing here? So the story's good. But what if... Um, I don't want that. So we have... Let's see if we can add an idea to that. Okay, so we have vampire story. So we have him, he took, let's see here, if you want descriptions, okay, sweet, or it's larger than we what we thought it was going to be, yeah, definitely when it's gotten larger, um, I've come to notice we need more planning now, I'm just figuring out where it's going to go and what it looks like, because something i've noticed with it is it's good like um it's not an issue that we have it this long but um we definitely need an idea of where in my mind i need an idea of where it's going before i can like actively like help a ton with it let me let's go back to here I'll close out of those so what do we want before we hop into him going, because we have him going into a dream, but I don't know what the point of him going into the dream is. Like, for us to write him going into the dream, like, what's what's the core point of him going into the dream? Like, what's the reason? Like, does our character have a fear he's dealing with that was he was dealing with up here? Like, is that what we're trying to put into the story? Because I feel like if we're writing into this, we need a purpose for him going into the dream. Ari says we need to figure out the end. We do need to figure out the end. Like, because, I mean, this is good, but we need to figure out, like, more. Let's work on the end today. How do we want... Yeah, let's work on the end and figure out how we actually want this story to end. end of the story and then we will end it so what so we have our little bit of a principle we want Agen to actually get framed and Orpheus to succeed I 
and Orpheus to succeed. Yeah, fear will be a great option because we have reference of his fear. So yeah, that will be a better option. So we can put... Do I have... I have Photoshop open. I wonder if I could do something here. I'm going to I'm going to put you guys in a Photoshop document here real quick. And this is this is a mind map cuz I'm having It's going to be this Nico do 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 boom boom. So you guys are about to look at a whole nother screen. One moment. It's about to go to Photoshop. This might be something that's productive. This might not. We're going to see if this actually helps. So we have we're going to put this as a background. Nope, it wasn't actually a background. There we go. We're going to do his white. All right, so we got... Oh, where are we going? Let me change this. I never thought I'd do a Photoshop thing for <laughs> a story. All right, but we're going to write on here. So we have... Let me go to my layers. I'm not going to make this big. Actually, we can just do text. That's going to help better. Do black. So we have... What do we want his biggest fear? What? So for the story, we need him... So we have the vampire. Vampire, which is... No. What do we... So what's this guy's fear? What is his actual fear? Like, what is the central of the story here? We'll just name this fear here. <laughs> this is so... And for the dream, he needs to either face his fears or, or succumb to them. Yes. We need to figure out what his fear is. Like, what is the core fear here? Mel says the dream is for him to realize that out of all the vampires, he's the only one who can find and the one who can fully use its powers. Yeah, but that that is good. His fear could be that he doesn't want to become a monster. So how can we show that he doesn't want to become a monster up here? Can you describe the character like his likes, his dislikes? We could. We could describe his dislikes and dislikes. We're going to go down to the bottom of the document here. Let's go back to the vampire mystery. That he is just like the vamp that turned him. So we're going to come down here. We've jumped to a lot of screens. Today's been weird. But I think we're going to get somewhere. I think we're going to get some more solid. We just got to push through whatever we're dealing with right now. Okay, so let's look up Kieran here. Kieran. What? So he doesn't want to be like the vampire that turned him. Because what? What? Because we need to figure out. Yeah, who is Kieran? Like, when he goes. When he goes through any of his actions in this story, like, why does he do what he does? Like, I feel like we've just been writing. I mean, our writing's good. It's not bad. But I feel like we've just been writing. Just We've been just writing. Like, we don't have any, like, core stuff we're working through. But we definitely can develop it now. Like, Kieran's a, Kieran's a good guy. Like, he's made mistakes. He's... We're just gonna, We're just going to describe him in a paragraph. We don't have a third rail. Usually when vamps... Wait. And why does he care if he turns into them? Usually when vamps feed on human, they, they kill them. But he doesn't need, feel like... What do you mean by we don't have a third rail, Ari? Shiv says, what if we make an outline map for the story? I was just thinking that too. 
because if this is going to be a longer one, we got to get, we got to figure out something about it to organize it because I've, I've definitely noticed with the past story. Oh, so we can work on the story in a manner. Yeah, I've definitely noticed I need to be a little bit more organized with it. And this, that's my fault. I should have been um, more organized as we were going through this. So do you have any good um, places you can go for a um, outline map that you would love to share? Because I do not know any at the current moment. It's a good guy that made mistakes. <laughs> Mel says, wow, you're describing me in one paragraph. Yeah, it's a good guy that's made mistakes. Like he wants, he wants to do his best, but doesn't feel as if he has the opportunity. Um, we can do. We have a plot, but not an actual story. What his want and why is important to him, and what his fear is keeping him from it. So, what does he want? What does Kieran want? And <laughs> you guys know what's crazy? So I was naming this episode today. And I was like, what should I name the episode? And I was like, well, we're gonna work we're gonna work through this writing up here. So we're gonna work through Karen. And so I named the episode um creating a story, creating a short story character. And I did not realize that we were going to actually, I had like a mental breakdown up here. Not not an actual breakdown. I was just real confused where I was at. And I was like, oh, now we're actually developing a character. So I guess it actually happened like it needed to happen. So what does Kieran want? Why does Kieran want it? So what does Kieran want? Kieran wants... Ari says... We have a plot, but an actual story. Shiv says you can just do it right here. Just have a dash. Yeah, we can definitely do that. So when Kieran was turned, he was in a rough place. So is his goal... His goal isn't to get out of it. Oh, we could do his goal. Because we need an emotional... Yeah, Ari, you was reading... Um, you were reading Story Genius. What did they recommend for this? Let's see how much you've been reading with it. Let's Google some stuff. Examples of characters once. Let's look through some articles while we're all writing in here. Maybe once we figure all this out, we can have our own website. We all blah, 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 blah. So what does he crave? Then of course there must like to win the countdown. He wants what are they pursuing? What will they believe give them feeling of satisfaction? Although we need to pinpoint specifically what he wants, not just not just to be happy, but exactly what will make him happy. So what we gotta get deep here, guys. We need to get real deep with Kieran. What what's gonna make him happy? Like what does he actually want? Like if you were if you were in his place, like if you were in a deep place like him and you got put in a crappy situation where you were forced to do something you didn't want to do, and now you're stuck in that situation. What would be your want in that moment? Like, would your want to be a normal life again? Like, do you want to find a way to get a normal life? Do you want to... He wants to be in charge. Why does he want to be in charge? Like, what's making him want to be in charge? Get 
drink of water. So he can control, he wants to be able to control his surroundings and events happening to him. So how in this story are we going to give him a moment where he can find the ability to control? Because I think we did mention that up here. Like he didn't want to be partners with um, Orpheus. So that was showing that he didn't want to be in control. Or he says his life before turning was spiraling down before his choice was taken from him being out of control. Okay, yes, yeah, so then we could do um, his life before turning to a spark. So Anita also said he lead, he lead a life of constant failure and has never lived up to potential. Perhaps being forced to be in a situation give him an opportunity to show what he's really made of. That also works too. So we could do, we'll write both of those down. So life was spiraling. Spiraling down. Then his choice was taken from him. Is he the guy who is just in a fear? A guy who cannot fight the situation? So, are, Shiv, are you talking about, like, bringing this guy back up in the dream? Like, his old self? And then him, like, not being able to control him, potentially? And then Nina said, constant failures never lived to his potential. Perhaps being forced to be in this so is the potential. Yeah, so his choice was taken from him. Now he's not able to be in control. Now this situ now this situ okay, sweet situation shows him what he has the possibility of. That's a vague way of saying that. So then we could have him. Um, Ari says, I think he is strong enough to fight. I think he is too. Man, I'm rooting for this guy now. I think this is good. Like, I want Kieran to win. I think we all deal with a little bit of what Kieran deals with. So maybe we could put... Um, Opportunities um, show in a dream that, or we could do provide a an opportunity. That is a really wrong way of spelling that. We're going to use spell correct. Yep. Try and fight his need for control, kind of. Um, so he is strong enough to fight. So his dream, so do we want in his dream for him to win? To him to have the possibility of winning? Like, what do we want to happen in the dream? And then why does Kieran want the need to control? Because do we think if Kieran, if Kieran wants the need to control, like he wants to be in control, what is, and why does he want that? So he doesn't mess up again. Because like when I think about like when I want to be in control, it's because I think of past habits that I wasn't in control of and I've seen what happened. So now like I take every action to be in control so I can make sure those don't happen. Now we could relate it to that. The dream has him losing control, which triggers his fight or flight and makes him realize he has to do whatever it takes to find these heirlooms. That's good. I like that. That really, he has to take control to save his life and make sure it what he wants it to be. I like that. I really like that. Provides an opportunity. Um, dream makes him realize... We'll just we'll just copy and paste what you wrote so I don't have to write all that real quick. Then 
we're going to do this. Ari says, I think it needs to show him what will happen if he doesn't control it. Maybe when he was first turned, he lost control and caused a lot of devastation that triggers his fear. Shiv says, no, I think we should go for... He just he just wants to get rid of this vampire because he really wants to live like a normal human. But you can let him win in the dream. He can win, but he doesn't want the responsibility. So you're talking about he just wants to get rid of the vampire he's working with? Interesting. So we're just going to outline this. This is a great learning opportunity for all of us right now. I'm glad we're here. Yes. Okay. So we can also do... He wants to. Ari says, how would he become a normal human? That's a good question. So right now, Shiv, he is a vampire. I don't think he can be. I don't think we have it in the story where he can be turned back. <gasps> oh, you know what we could do? And I just thought about that. If he finds the dagger. He can. What if we made it, you guys can object to this, what if we made it where now he also gets a glimpse in his dream, maybe, we'll have to divulge more on this, um, if he gets the dagger, the elders will let him use the dagger on him, which then will give him the powers of a vampire, like what, if someone stole it and used it, will give him the powers of a vampire, but also... Um, not have the need for blood or where he's like hurting people. What do you guys think about that? I, I don't think he would ever become a normal. I don't think there's an opportunity for him to become a normal human being right now. Then we could do. Would it take his bloodlust away if he was already a vampire? Yeah, I'm not sure what that would look like. We're in a weird place now. We would have to write it and we would. It's. It's a great idea to work on. Yeah, we're... This story is in an interesting place right now. I've... The cool thing about... I'm going to interrupt what we're working on. The cool thing about this stream right now is how interesting it is. Like, us working together to figure out what the whole... Um, what the whole story writing process is on and about. Like, this is really intriguing. Melo says, can, the whole, can this whole story just be a dream when he wakes up, he is human, and it was all a glimpse into the future? So use the dagger to take on, or Anita said, so use the dagger to take on the power to be in sunlight and lose the bloodlust for humans. Basically, like, he would use the dagger on himself. I don't know if, how that would affect him, but I, we can write that in. I don't know why we're asking why that can affect him. We own this story. Yeah, I'm fine with it being a, a novella, Ari. I'm just trying to get my head wrapped around how we're going to do this effectively. So we can d we can delete this. We don't need this stuff right now. Well. Shiv says, is there a single vampire? No, so the way the process right now is, is we have the lead vampire. So we have... So we have the vampire that's searching for the heirloom. He is a vampire. We have a guy who stole it. So they stole it from a vampire clan. So they're all vampires right now. And they're all just trying to get... 
and the heirloom that they stole from the vampires can be used against them. So they're trying to get it back before anyone who doesn't doesn't have the ability to use it um, uses it against them. What does Kieran want? He wants to be in control. Life was spiraling down. Kieran's church is taken. Why does he want it? Maybe Orpheus confesses as he is in charge. Oh, we've already. Already says, and they are in peace treaty talk with the wolves. Okay. Interesting. I need to read more books on this. Not on vampires, but story creation now again. Makes me want to read more. And they're in peace treaty talks with the wolves. I'm interested, while we're in a weird place with this story right now, how do you guys organize your stories? Like, what does the start to finish process look like for you? Because, like, for me right now, I'm starting to realize that, like, I do need, like, a good mental, like, outline of, like, this is why he's doing this. Like, this is going from here to here to here to here. And what does your guys' process look like? Do you just start writing and then figure it out as you go? Or do you, like, try to have a good idea on what you want to do? Or he says, it would be interesting to have the dagger work the same on the vampire. We could use it as the real reason he wants the elders. It could be the real reason the elders want it back. Mel says, I have to go by. Well, thank you for joining in, Mello. Um, we will see you back whenever you can join in again. You have a wonderful day. Ari says, it would be interesting to have the dagger work the same on the vampire. We could have it as the real reason the elders want it back. Yeah, because it's their opportunity to turn back into somewhat of a human. Yeah, we could have that. We could put it down. Put it down here. Um... Dagger can turn human, no, can turn vampire into somewhat human. We'll just keep it that. Um, keeps vampire powers, but doesn't need blood or have some light allergy. Okay. I got a lot of learning to do. I'm excited for it. Cause I think this is this is a test, Ari. This is a test. Cause remember we got held we got held up at this point in the Geico book. I remember. Cause we got to the point where we were writing a ton and then we had no idea what was going on from there. Shiv says, for me, I find out what the end, and then I work on the start on the other page. I write different possibilities for the story and then work out a line for the story. Ari says, I like start with the ending and then plot out events that have to happen to get to that point and work with the character to figure out what that character would do in that event. For basic, I work on three phases of the story. <laughs> Anita says, I feel like I need to write all these things on post-it notes and place them on my wall to organize potential roads we could go. I know. I wish, um, I wish, like, I had, like, a board here, like, right behind me, which I could just bring, I, actually, I do, I could technically do that. Tell me if you guys want, for one stream, I could move the camera, and we could post it note, like, our next story on somewhere and figure that out. That might be interesting to try out. Ari says, I'll send you some of my notes. Yeah. So, um, Yeah. Today's been weird. Today's been really weird. Thank you guys for all coming in today, even though it's been different than what we usually do. Uh -huh. Ari says you could do plot points on Dabble. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about Dabble. Sign up for... Oh, they got a Stephen King quote. Look at that. Let's do... 
Nico will sign up with um, an email here. And I don't think you guys can see. Okay, you guys can see that good. Bidum, 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 Shift says, first phase is an introduction. Then at the end is first phase, I make a twist. And then I move on to the next phase, which is second. And then we'll core phase. And at the end of the second phase, another twist. Oh, I, I think I know what you're talking about now. Okay. Oh, I want to study up on this one. Yo, they got a character section. This is cool. This is all sorts of interesting. All right, why didn't you tell me about this before? I'm just kidding. You did tell me about this. I just didn't look into it. Okay. Well, I have an idea. I think we're going to start using Dabble a little bit more. <laughs> I know you did, Ari. I'm just messing around with you. I think we're going to start using Dabble a little bit more. Just because the way they have this structured is something I definitely I think I can wrap my mind around a little bit. I, I think I've complained like the last three days on how limited Google is for like organization. And I think this I think this will be much better. So we are at 50 minutes. Uh, sorry, today wasn't as productive as I was hoping. I think we got past some mental hurdles. That's for sure. But. We are at 50 minutes and the camera does die, unfortunately. So, Ari says you can move the plot points easily too. Okay, sweet. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching today. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to move a lot of stuff over in here. Or if you guys want, um, tomorrow we can spend the day organizing this and figuring out how to use Dabble together. That might, that might be a cool um, live stream if you guys want to do that as well. So... Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to do with that. Um, thank you guys for watching today. And then if you're not in the Discord, go ahead and join. We can talk about it in there too. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. And then I will see you guys back tomorrow. And we will figure out what we're going to do. Because today is an interesting day. So, I'll see you guys in the Discord.